It's live here. Jesus, the miracle worker. In every life, every family, in the whole of Washoe State, miracle, power manifestation, healing and deliverance for everyone, prosperity for you. And it will start today. What I mean is, your miracle is starting now. We're starting on Thursday, and we're going to lift up Jesus, and the Lord Jesus will touch everyone. Whatever you need as a miracle, it will come to you. Let's tell everyone, everywhere, that miracle is now here. And you remember the days of old is going to be repeated again. And from here to the rest of the world, let the world see your face that you are there. Let's invite all the people all over that will fill up that place where you see and God will be glorified. At the end of the crusade, as you attend every day, you have a lot of testimonies to share. God bless everyone. Thank you. Daddy, Nigeria today is going through a whole lot of problems, and Nigerians are suffering. Has God forsaken Nigeria? Our leaders are not. They don't really have us in mind. People are suffering. Yeah, has God forsaken Nigeria? That is one. Secondly, sir. There is a proliferation of churches all over, yet social vices is on the rise. What is the way out? Thank you very much. That's why we're here. If God had forsaken, Nigeria will not be here. God has not forsaken us. And God will never forsake you. There are problems, yes. That's why we're calm with miracle solution. And the miracles and solutions, they're going to start with us here. And we're transmitting this to the rest of the whole country. Our leaders were here. Our members were here. All the citizens were exposed to the power of God. If any good thing is going to happen, it starts somewhere. It will start with me. It will start with you. God has not forsaken us. We're talking about miracles, and the miracle is not only personal, there's national miracle too. And uh, we're not here to oppose, criticize anyone small or great in the government or outside the government. What we're saying is that God will perform a miracle in the heart of our leaders. And the hearts will be towards the people and the wisdom to lead us and the wisdom to do everything that will benefit us as a country the Lord himself will do in their heart. That's a miracle already. It will happen. Our lives will turn around. Our country will turn around. Now, there are many, many churches and we have not seen everything we should see. That's why we're here as kind. That's why we're here. As all the churches journey together, what do we need? A change in our lives, transformation in our lives, transformation in the country. And uh, what we're believing is the churches will get up. 
there will be revival in our churches. And what we're looking for, we're not seeing with all the churches, we will see the miracle touch of the Lord in all the churches in Jesus' name. Thank you. Where there is hope, where there is life, there is soul. And where there is hope, something good will happen. Next question, please, quickly. My name is Raphael Hamid. I work with TBC. Um, yesterday, the president inaugurated his cabinet members, the ministers, 45 of them. We've had a number of ministers in the past, and we now have many ones. Tell us what would be your advice to them towards ensuring that Nigeria remains one, remain peaceful, and remain developed. Thank you very much. And one thing we don't want to do is to put anybody on the spot and look like we are commanding them. And we're saying, this is what you do. You'll see those ministers that have been chosen in the cabinet, they are not new, new people that have never done anything. If you look at them one by one, you'll see the good things they've done, either as uh, state governments in the past, uh, state governors rather, or as other ministers. And they have been, I would say, carefully chosen. If we support them, if we are not, you know, criticizing every step, and they don't know where to stand, if we accept them and we believe that God will walk through them, he'll use them as instruments to build our nation, let's forget the past. This is a new day. And I believe, and we all believe, we're going to see new things for our, con for our country through our president and through uh, the members of the cabinet. Good things will happen. Yeah. The last question, please. Don't buy another pair of glasses until you've seen what this new invention can do. You know is my name. I'm a veteran book black journalist. Uh, when you go to churches today, it is uh, prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Uh, salvation is missing, sir. What is the way out, sir? Well, we have a minister's conference where we will talk to ourselves heart to heart. Um, nobody likes being criticized in the open. They will put that in the social media. And the whole world is seeing that we have dirty clothes to watch. I understand what we are saying, but as we get together with all the ministers and the various denominations, and I'm telling you here in Ocean State, we're really coming together. And not only that, in all the states, here in Nigeria, and even in all the nations who are getting together, we'll talk to ourselves heart to heart with the grace of God and the Spirit of God as the Lord touches people at the crusade. is going to touch the ministers too. We will see something better, higher, and different from where we have been before. The Lord will help us and, uh, you know, touch me, touch you, touch everyone, and transform our ministers as well as our churches. Good things will happen through our churches. Thank you. Daddy, before you go, uh, go I know you love the youth so much. Any message for them? And the youth are some of them here. Wonderful, wonderful. And this Saturday happens to be something very special. Uh, I've been going to use impact uh, programs and many lives have been turned around. And actually, as I travel around the country, I now meet, uh, you know, professors, engineers, and doctors who were my students in their teenage years. And, um, you know, I've had the privilege of shaking hands with some of them, saying, uh, you taught us well. And I'm telling them that although I taught them mathematics at that time, I am teaching them now how to reign in life. That whether it's maths or science subject or arts or it's in the practical things or whatever, this Saturday, I'm talking on lifting up you, the young people, so that 
we know what it means to reign in life. Yeah. And you say that I use the, you know, yeah, the future leaders. I say yes, but more than that, they are the leaders of today. Yeah. And what it means to put something, fire and vision, passion and power. I almost started preaching. Yeah. To the young people this Saturday, I'm talking on reigning for Christ for success. Yeah. You will be there. Yeah. Tell everyone around, we, the young people, I say we, I don't say you because I am young like you. Yeah. We're going to reign for success through Christ. Yeah. I'll be waiting for you there. Yeah. Hello there, as always, this is brought to you by Palace Boundaries TV, Pastor Komoye Live in Oshobo, Oshu State. Please do well to like, share and subscribe with your friends and make sure to have a wonderful time at the Global Crusade. Let me inform you now that the convener of the GCK, Pastor W. F. Kumu, is here. He's live here. Hello there, as always, this is brought to you by Palace Boundaries TV. That's the Kumoye Life in Oshubo, Oshu State. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe with your friends. And make sure to have a wonderful time at the Global Crusade. Can we take the national anthem, please? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. You will come back here. Yes. Please, open this thing. very much. Can we now present uh, the bouquet to our father and the Lord and our mommy? Quickly. Oh, you won't allow us to Pastor, sir. Please, let me Please, we need Thank security you so much. here. 
we need security here, please. Hey. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can we now have? Can we now have the parade? The parade quickly, quickly. Jesus, 
On Saturday, if you can't afford to miss this edition, secondary campus young professional joining Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi for scholarship, for excellence, for greatness, for first class, for breakthrough. Impact Academy is for you. Come and say, reigning, reigning with Christ, with Christ in life. In life. So come and say, Jesus. Jesus called his name, counsel of Eli, the miracle work I start into a shuffle. Tira 